Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpe Technologies. In this video, I am going to cover the most important interview question as well as write all the concepts of object oriented programming. So, what all those? See, so whenever we are start learning object oriented programming, so we need to understand first of all what are the features of object oriented programming what are the features and why we need to implement all these four, four features there are simply four features are there the first one we call it as encapsulation first one is encapsulation second one abstraction abstraction or uh, let me explain first inheritance the second one is inheritance third one is abstraction fourth one is a polymorphism i'll give a simple idea simple idea about all these four object oriented programming features how simple these four features are i'll explain first one what is encapsulation so encapsulation means protecting the object information from outside access consider we know that object oriented programming means defining an object suppose i am one object right my information should be protected from outside person everyone cannot access my information that should be protected capsulated capsulated what is capsule whatever the content whatever the substance which is inside the capsule is secured with a cap with a cap encapsulation means protecting here it is just i am representing with a capsule right one object cannot access the information of another object directly uh, some rules are there the rules i'll explain how can we protect means right to implement that protection protection some rules some posure rules are there right what all the posure rules right in dot net in java we can call it as a posure rules in dot net i mean dot net we can call it as a c sharp rules right we can also call it as a plain old c sharp object rules poco rules like that we can call right all these things i'll explain but what is encapsulation suppose inside the information inside the information is not allowed to access directly my information other person cannot access directly other person information i cannot access directly then how we can communicate yes to establish the communication some rules are there right if anyone ask what is encapsulation protecting object information from outside access briefly in the concept of encapsulation i'll explain this is the simple definition that you have to give in a interview and that second one is inheritance so what is inheritance inheritance means whenever you are defining a new object we reuse the functionality of existing object something which is already existed directly we can reuse into our application best example suppose if the iphone company apple company want to want to launch iphone 14 mobile into the market for that one application is required yes will they start developing the code from the scratch impossible because already iphone 13 system is available simply they will upgrade they will extend the functionality or they will enhance the functionality of 13 into 14 whatever whatever the functionality which is present in iphone 13 simply they will reuse in iphone 14 and adding some more functionality the same thing uh, the only the same thing if you are using in 14 no use because the same functionality same working functionality is available in 14 also why we go for new system why we use a 14 no we all purchase again 13 only why we are going to purchase 14 means what not only the old functionality we are adding some other functionality also some new functionality also we are adding so what is inheritance simple answer defining an object defining an object by reusing the functionality of existing object simple answer we can give okay so what is encapsulation once again just 
protecting the object information from outside access is called encapsulation. What is inheritance? Defining a new object by reusing the functionality of existing object. Next, what is the third one? Abstraction. Abstraction means hiding the implementations in communication. So what we are hiding? See, whenever you are, you are thinking about abstraction, this is not for developer. Abstraction is always for end user point of view only. One simple example. Suppose here, this is ATM application and you are performing the ATM transaction. In ATM transaction, suppose one button is visible on the ATM screen. Now I am taking two persons, one person is a developer, one person is a developer and one person is a user, end user who is using that application without any programming knowledge. How the developer look at the withdraw button, how end user look at the withdraw button. End user always think that, okay, this is a button or this is an option. Whenever I click on the button so that I can perform withdraw transaction from my account, that's it. Right? By click on the button, the person will perform the transaction without having the knowledge what is happening in the background exactly. Means how it is connected, how it is getting the information from our card. Whenever I entered the information, how it is collecting the information from the keyboard, how it is connecting with the server, how server is connecting with the database without having the background knowledge, the end user happily perform the transaction. That is called abstraction. And then in developer point of view, how we think, okay, withdraw is not a button, withdraw is a method or withdraw is a function, it's an action. Whenever someone click on the button, it has to perform some action. It has to perform the task. What? So that is what withdraw method. That is withdraw method with some logic. We are defining the method. So the point is different from end user to developer. Abstraction is for developer or for end user? End user. In front of the developer, nothing is there to hide implementations we are just hiding in front of the end user that is what abstraction some abstract classes abstract methods how can we implement all these things we will discuss briefly in abstraction concept now once again what is encapsulation simple answer just protecting the object information from outside access what is inheritance defining a new object by reusing the functionality of existing object. What is abstraction? Hiding implementations in communication process of application. In communication process, we are hiding the things. That is called abstraction. And the last one, polymorphism. So what is polymorphism? Simple. Defining one object. Suppose there is a person. The person now communicating with uh, different other persons, different other persons, right? So let me, let me give one name to this person and here the person communicate with uh, the father, communicate with, uh, for example, sibling, sibling, brother or sister, communicating with a friend. Just consider, consider. See, look at that way of communication, nothing but the way of talking from person to person will change. See, the functionality is the same. Amar is talking. Amar is talking. Amar is talking. The same functionality, but with a different behavior. Towards father, respect. With respect, the person will talk. Towards a sibling, for example, caring. Right towards friend, just making the fun. The way of behavior from person to person, nothing but from object to object will change. Depends on the input. Depends on input. See, defining an object, defining an object that shows different behavior with the same name. With the same name, different behavior. Why different behavior means that is depends on based on input. 
based on input right that object behavior will change that is the simple way of giving answer defining an object that shows different behavior with the same name same identity is called polymorphism so right here understanding the features of object oriented programming is very very simple only four features are there encapsulation inheritance abstraction and polymorphism what is encapsulation protecting protecting the object information from outside access what is inheritance defining a new object by reusing the functionality of existing object what is abstraction hiding hiding implementations and shows only essential things in communication unnecessary things just we are unnecessary implementations we are hiding not in front of developer in front of the end user what is polymorphism just defining an object that shows different behavior while communicating with a different objects with the same identity you can simply answer now about object oriented programming features in every interview yes please practice all these things right and very useful for your interview thank you all